Hi, welcome back to Scotty's Tech.info. I'm Scotty with my co-host Cletus. So what do you do if you have uh, an audio file, a video file, you have an image and you want to convert it into some other format? Well, of course you can convert an image, you can use paint.net, you can use Photoshop. If you have a movie file and you want to turn it into just a plain old audio MP3, okay, you can get like video editing software. You can use all this complicated software, but sometimes all you want to do is just convert say from like a WebP to a JPEG or from an MP4 to an MP3 with just like a click. Can you do it? Turns out you can with a handy little tool called File Converter and that's what I'm going to show you today. So what we're going to do is go in our browser to file-converter.org and you click the download button and then you go through the whole installer and that's going to prompt you 50,000 times for stuff. Just say yes, 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 give it permission, yes, 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 yes. Okay, and when you're done, um, you're going to not really see anything. So, like, what happened here? Well, okay, we can delete our installer here because we don't need that anymore. Uh, so the way this works is, like, let's say I have these two images here of this lovely couple and I want to convert them from JPEG to some other image format. I just highlight them and I right-click. Now, if you have Windows, not Windows... Uh, 11, you, you, you won't have this whole show more options thing, but if, if you have a newer version of Windows, you'll have to click right click and then do show more options before you see file converter. If you have an older version of Windows, you'll see it on the very first menu here. So uh, don't be, don't freak out if you don't see it. Right click, select your files, right click, and then do show more options. And you'll notice you'll have this, this file converter option here. And you'll see it says to, to GIF, to GIF low quality, to PNG, WebP, small PNG, da, 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 da. So you can convert this even to a PDF. So I'll just say, okay, I want these to be like, I don't know, WebP images. You'll notice this window pops up and it goes, ta-da, I've just converted them for you. Oh my god, look, there they are. Two WebP files. Uh, you can also convert things, as I said, into PDFs. Uh, so, for example, if you have Microsoft Office installed and you want to turn this into a PDF, sure, you could open it up and do Save as PDF, but it's far easier to just right-click, Show More Options, File Converter, PDF. Zoop, done. And the application will automatically terminate in one second, and there you go. Now I have a PDF of my Word file. Isn't that handy? Now, you can convert various things. If you want to know exactly what you can convert to what, uh, you can right-click, do Show More Options, go to File Converter, and Configure Presets. And this gives you the File Converter Settings window. Now, as you can see here, uh, you can convert video files. Uh, as I said, you can do, like, say you want to convert this, this lovely intro into an MP3, right-click, Show More Options, File Converter to MP3. Ta-da! Where'd it go? There it is, STI intro MP3 file. So that's how easy it is to use. And as I was saying, if you go into the uh, the configure mode here, you can see all the the different the different formats and stuff. If I click on two MKV, uh, this shows you all the input formats, so it can convert three GP AVI. BIKFLVM for all these different things, even an animated GIF into an MKV file. Same for MP4. So you can see, you know, if you've got an animated GIF or any one of these movie files, you just want an MP4. Uh, there you go. Now the cool thing is, you'll note here um, over yonder, you have the the video quality. So um, you can rotate the video, you can uh, change the, the audio bit rate, you can change the video quality, you can even choose a particular name, naming scheme for your files. And uh, the other interesting thing is, like, for example, if you say to JPEG, uh, you can also change the quality of the JPEG. You can actually cre use this plus symbol down here and create your own new preset. So you could say, uh, create a preset that's going to... Uh, take images and resize them to, you know, 25% of, of their normal size. You can kind of customize this if you want. If you want to know more about that, you can just go over here onto the File Converter web website and click Documentation, uh, and that'll actually tell you uh, how to uh, customize things and, and, and how to use it. 
But for the most part, it's pretty simple, it's pretty straightforward, and yeah, it's uh, it's really, really handy. Like, all you have to do is just go right-click, show more options, file converter, meh, let's just make it a PNG. And it's done. Now, you're probably thinking, right, Scotty, but all I have to do if I want to convert a file to some other format is just Google it. And there's all these websites, you know, like File Conversion Online, free! We've converted up to 28 gajillion terabytes of files for people, totally free. Why don't you just use one of those? Well, you could. But I don't use those for the simple reason that if something is free, usually there's a catch. Especially if it's a website and it's free. Especially if it's a website, it's free, and they're doing things like showing ads. I don't know who runs that website. I don't really, you know, I want to download an application that's available. The code is available on GitHub. Uh, I can look at the code. I go, okay, right, this, this guy's accepting donations. I'll give him a little donation. I'll download and use his code. And all the processing of the files is happening on my computer, not on somebody's server up there. And they're providing this wonderful service that's processing terabytes and terabytes of files absolutely free. You think maybe they're actually scanning content, selling, you know, like everybody does? Right. So that's why File Converter is actually so cool, because you can just get it for free. You run it on your computer. You don't send your data anywhere. You're done. If you have, you know, sensitive documents, you want to turn a doc file that has, like, a bunch of personal information into a PDF, it's just a few clicks. You don't even have to open an application. You just right-click da 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 file da, 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 go to PDF and a few seconds later it spits out the PDF in the same directory so it's great for um, it's effective uh, it's generally fast uh, and it's very private which I like now just a note if you're going to convert video files uh, don't expect this thing to perform miracles um, for basic conversion sure it's great uh, if you want to resize images to a smaller size if you want to have it scale down videos it's great because as I showed you you can customize it and you can do whatever you want with it but just keep in mind that when it's say transcoding video files um, we're not talking about a piece of software that's using your graphics card and like doing like super high speed transcoding it's basically just going to use the processor and do your basic CPU transcoding. It's a little bit pokey sometimes. But, you know, I personally can live with that because it's just a few clicks. It's simple, it's easy, it's private. Uh, so, right, if I want to transcode a video or something, I just right-click and then I go get another cup of coffee and there you go. So, right, so for converting files, file converter, check it out. For more Techie Tips, see scottystech.info. Thanks for watching. See you next time.